Okay, so you're going to the mill? Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna give you a little, little <laughs> quick insight. You're gonna go there, and yeah, neither of them are there. What? Also, also I, I don't know how I missed it, but your shirt is also amazing. Huh? I like dinosaurs. Is dinosaurs? Your shirt is amazing. Thank you. Plus, I have matching pants on. Plus, it's black, which is like bonus. Uh, Griffith, Griffith blue, would be and so I happy. have matching pants on. Except nice. it's not just blue and green dinosaurs, so he probably wouldn't be that excited about it. Yeah, he is very excited. Nice. It does have it does it does have blue and green, but it's other colors too, and his only colors he wants are blue and green. Forever. Tell him the others are just shaped blue and green. He's not falling for your tricks. Okay, so we go there and nothing. Does it look like there was a fight or anything? Or No. Uh, the, the, the issue is, so Rachel had, and Jason for sure, had definitely like lost their ability uh but you're gonna have to do me a favor and roll an investigative mystery because i've been letting you guys get away with not rolling for stuff a lot lately so you gotta roll for this oh man gotta make sure there's nothing wrong way <laughs> you know what Investigator mystery. Three plus, hold on. Okay, I got. Uh, would that be sharp? Five. Yes. Okay, so that's a fail. Uh, I gotta. You got this. I gotta find out what a fail actually means, though. Uh, I'll just put experience because that's instant experience, right? It is instant experience. Yes. Well, am I missing experience from last week? Probably. Uh, you no, because you weren't there. You guys got two experience last week, I think. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. of all that went down. It was like... Dun, you, can, dun, dun, you completed dun, the mystery. Dun, dun. You completed... Yeah. No, we completed the mystery. We learned something about other hunter. Yeah. He's and a the psycho. other hunter was Charlie. Yeah. I was willing to kill the thing I considered a monster. Mm -hmm. Psycho, psycho. Well, we choose to kill you because we consider you a monster. That's okay. Got it. That's right. Excellent. Uh, or why it's been right this whole time. There's a lizard cult here in the Northwest Territories. Okay, so investigate mystery on a fail. Uh huh. Eh, doesn't Everything really, looks good. Doesn't really apply. You can't ask any questions, but it says you reveal some information to the monster or whoever you're talking to. Doesn't really apply in this situation. But you look around and there's really nothing that you can glean from the situation. Okay. That's fine. Alright, well. Griffin cursed my dice. We're, we were right. They're gone. Yeah. All right, well, let's go report back to Wyatt, Frank, keep Charlie. Then they'll know what's going on, and we can plan for whatever's next. See where Tom wants to lead us next. Yeah. I'm probably just going to be working on the stuff I messaged you about earlier, Madison. Okay. Uh, so you said the first thing you wanted to do was uh, writing everything out? Yeah, I would probably do it by hand if I thought there was enough room in that journal with all those different accounts that I found. If not, I'd be working there was only, on... There was, a, there was only probably like 20 pages left. Do you feel okay. that's enough? Probably not, because I'm including more than just what we witnessed. I want to also include um, everything that brought from the sheriff. Um, so I guess I'll just start creating a like digital collection of everything. Okay. And I'd probably uh, just, just like on a Google Drive or what? Yeah, I'd probably end up transcribing the pages from in the journal. 
as much so as that you it's could, just all least. one like Google Doc. Okay. But... And it probably wouldn't be perfect, but I'd try and keep everything like as chronological as I could with like dates and stuff. Okay. Um, and then ah, you said you were leaving a comment. Now, were you saying 5 p.m. today? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, or whenever I get a reply, whatever day I get a reply. Okay. Okay, and that was pretty much it, though, right? That was it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Working on that and checking periodically for a reply on that. Because I'd want to get, like, the report from the YouTube also, like, included in everything with the other news report. Uh, okay. And then... Wyatt, you here? Are you at your room? I should say first. I came down for breakfast. I know, but like, are you going like after breakfast? Are you going back to your room? That's what I'm saying. Because no, I'm not. Vic Victor, and what's going on? Victor and Maxine took off. Uh, Frankie went back to their room. I assume to do their transcribing and stuff. Or were you staying in the conference room? Um. I'd probably go so, like a different common area. I don't want to spend that much time with Tom. Okay. I guess Why? I'm gonna What's go wrong find my buddy and maybe at like the bar or something. Okay. Like, sit at the bar and try and like. Work. The bar is like this town Starbucks. <laughs> Basically. Uh, and sorry, why? What were you saying? I'm gonna go find my little buddy and let him know that we stopped the issue. Ah. Interesting. Um, okay. So you're going to just head, you head to the park or what? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So you just head to the park and kind of chill there for a bit. Um, nobody's really there yet. Mm. But are you just gonna wait for him, or are you gonna just head into the forest, or what? What do you want to do? Uh, I'll wait for him. If it doesn't, if like the ground doesn't look like anyone has been out there today, then I'll wait. Otherwise, I'll go into the forest and look for him. Okay. Uh, and Charlie, do you have any plans? No, I'm just going to relax after a hard night. Um, okay. Uh, Wyatt, you wait around for, I'd say, about 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes tops. Um, yeah. And probably, yeah, you see, <laughs> you see him run past the park and into the forest. <laughs> I'll follow. Okay. Uh, okay. Takes you a little bit to catch up for it, to him. And are you calling after him or what? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, though. Wow. Sure. You're bestie and you don't even remember his name. I'm tired. Or Finn. shame. Finn. Finn, hey, wait up. I'm, I'm coming. I got news for you. Uh, he, like, skids to a stop like they do in cartoons. Uh, and he turns around and is like, oh, hi. I, I just gotta do something. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, your voice got very your voice, Yeah, you just yeah. had a... Like, you had reverse puberty. Uh, mm. You follow oh after him. Win. And uh, he takes... He takes 
about five apples and two sandwiches and sets them on a stump. And then he turns around and is like, okay, I'm all done. What was that for? Oh, it's for Bigfoot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Have, have you seen him? No, but I've seen shows where you have to leave offerings for him. And every time I come back, they're gone. So it's probably Bigfoot. Makes sense. What's going on? So the red-eyed ice monster uh, isn't going to be bothering anybody anymore. Oh, what happened? Uh, I don't quite know for sure, but I heard that um, there was a stop foot to him. Oh. It was like this bad place, and if you touched it, and it made you into a monster. And so I think my friends were able to stop it and break it. Oh, okay. What are, what are you going to do about the next one? The next one? Oh, there's tons of monsters here. Uh, I guess we'll see if we can help with that too, then. Okay. Um, which one do you want to go for next? I mean, Bigfoot, Bigfoot doesn't sound like a monster. Bigfoot just sounds like he wants to be left alone and needs food. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's a monster either. He's kind of, from everything I've watched, he's kind of, um, I think they call him a primate. Yeah, it sounds right. Like a gorilla, I think. Uh, something like that. A little bit bigger. A lot bit bigger. I mean, at least he has big feet. I don't know about the size of him, but at least oh, he's like mm, eight, nine feet tall. Wow. Have you seen him? Um. You just asked him that. No. No. I've seen videos. Have you seen the videos? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all online. I don't think so. You'll have to show me. Oh, I will. Um, you want to go to the library? My mom works there. Okay. She lets me use the computer sometimes. That sounds great. So you're following him to the well, library? Did you, did, you have some, did you have something else to go do? Uh, no, I just have to feed him. Um, because if he do if we okay. don't feed him, then he destroys the town. Well, then, is this where you leave the food? Yep. Okay. He left it on a stump. Well, if you ever need me to, if you ever need me to come leave the food here, let me know, because I don't want the town to get destroyed. Yep, for sure. I can do that. Let's go. And he starts running away. I'll follow. I'll beat you. I'm gonna run after him. Uh, beat him. I gotta bury this kid. I gotta, I gotta push him to the ground and beat him. Trip him. <laughs> I'm gonna try to beat. Him. You're gonna try and beat him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> he wouldn't be if he didn't. All right, so you uh, race after him, and this kid is like seven, and you're like fourteen. So beating him isn't a huge deal. Um, so. Make it like just barely. <laughs> like Dash. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going like, to smoke him. All right. So uh, you chase after him and end up passing him. And he's like, oh, man. Next time. Um, You'll get me next time. All right. This is the library. Let's go in. Uh, and you guys go in and watch Bigfoot videos. And they're yeah. all super cheesy and fake. Makes sense. Uh, Except for one. And Victor and Maxine, you guys get back. What are you doing? You see me at the bar, like, tip-tapping away. Okay. Uh, what bar uh, are we talking about? 
Um, I was just gonna sit at the bar over here until it. I Are saw that I got a like Turner's like, Pub. I was talking like the little bar area in the lodge. Uh, okay, sorry. I thought you meant Turner's Pub. That's fine. No, I wasn't gonna go over there until I saw if I had any responses on my YouTube comment. Yeah, no worries. Uh, so or if yeah. it got like closer to that time, then I'd head over there. Okay. But. So like. And Charlie's not there, could... right? Charlie is relaxing, so that could mean he's there. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I don't know whether Victor's following me or not, but uh, I head over to Frankie and I'm like, so they're gone. Like I said. Well, what? They're just gone. Mysterious vans, that sounds about right, unfortunately. Well, we kind of figured, yeah, but it's, it's it's a little disappointing because I think Rachel could have given us some insights on some other characters in this area. Yeah. Characters as in people? As in monsters. Why? She, it was only one monster. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean... I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm I'm bothered by the whole thing. With all, like, monster knowledge now that she became one. Necessarily. No, I don't mean that. I mean, from what we've heard, there's other things in this area. Just yeah, from but that's Europe. not all be, like, related? One. No, I know, but she spent the last four years or three years in the wilderness. She might have saw stuff. She spent the last year and a half. Thanks. Have you seen the doctor that's shown up? Uh, Has she been down yet? No. No. I haven't seen anybody. Okay, well, yeah. She's looking for me. I told Evelyn... Is it Evelyn or Elaine? I always get it screwed Evelyn up. Evelyn is the Evelyn. name of the... Uh, lodge owner or, Elaine is the yes. name that Kat used in the last campaign. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Avalon. It wasn't even her real name. <laughs> no, I know. One of her multiple. One of her many AKAs. personas. Yes. yes. This I candy bag in understand. my room seems to have gone down quite a bit since I last had some. Must have been the dogs. Yeah, for sure. That the dogs were right. in there. Yeah, I don't need your rudeness. Anyway, so Evelyn said that she was looking for me, and I told her that I'm not around because it's like, yeah. But of course, now that the altar's gone, it's like I don't uh, know. I don't know that... if we want to talk to her. Is this the doctor chick you told not to come? Yeah, and she showed up yesterday, and then all hell broke loose last night, and it's like we were hiding from her, and she was. Evelyn came to the door. There was a noise complaint from her. So it's like, I'm sure she's going to be questioning us sooner or later. And now, yeah. And well, Rachel and Jason are gone. I don't know. I can pretend to be you. <laughs> sure. Not that it would be a compliment, but... Yeah. I'm just... I can't believe that she showed up, but maybe that we got her curiosity going so man i wish oliver was here we could pretend he was maxine oh that would be amazing that would get her out of here quick huh yes she would quickly she would run with her tail between the legs for sure <laughs> but yeah no Ooh, she showed up so it's like, that's and true he just tells the doctor that he made up a name that sounded professional Brew. Brew. Or we get Wyatt to talk to tell Finn to do it. I don't I don't want to involve an even younger child. But yeah. I just I assume she would have shown up by now because yeah, she, well no, I guess she was up fairly early too, snooping around. But Yes, I'm very disappointed that we've lost Rachel and Jason. Just because, well, I don't know where they've gone. Carly, where are you? 
Uh, probably still at the motel, hotel, in. Like in bed? What in? In the diner. Okay, so you're hearing this conversation then. Okay. Is he? Well, well, yeah, that's where we all are. If, oh. if he's like in the conference room where you guys ate, you guys aren't too far off from him having this conversation. Yeah. So, what do we do now? It's uh, like, are we looking into more stuff? What are you up to, Frankie? I. So, there wasn't enough room left in the original journal that I found with all of the eyewitness accounts. Yeah. Yes. So, I'm making a longer lasting version and I'm uploading it all to Google Docs and transcribing everything and. Attempting to put it all, like, chronological by, like, report dates and stuff. I have the book, everything we learned. I have the stuff, the other reports we got from... I probably shouldn't say where out loud. Um, our fun little files that no one knew existed. Um, with all of those reports, all of, I'm trying to, like, put it all together. Okay. okay. Journal went back decades. I figured we might as well add to it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what good it'll do us, but it's. I tossed a pebble in the water and I'm trying to wait to see if it ripples. So I need something to fill my time. Well, well you've. Opened up quite a uh, quite a thing with this very old language that you uh, the book that you discovered for this old. Oh yeah, um, I'm still waiting to hear back on that one. I let. Um... Was she getting back to you, or was this? I thought it was going to reach out to me because yeah. I mean, across the street, so. Um, once she had made some sort of headway, she was gonna let me know. Yeah. Um. She was so excited. She closed early. I can imagine. Uh. I thought she was gonna bite my hand off when I touched it without those gloves on, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Cut it off. That yeah. Way. The, like, yeah. look in her eye, I'm pretty sure one of her eyes started twitching. And the like, thing is, it's been here all this time. Nobody else had been going there. So the thing I can't wrap my head around that uh -huh. I will really try and figure out and dig into when I'm done with putting all of this together is how something that old right, right. would have been where it was and remain in that good of condition for this long. Like, yeah. yeah. Sure, it wasn't completely exposed, but that thing should have been kindling by now. I don't. Yeah, chalk it up to the cool climate. Well, plus it's like you've got the hot springs there, like the maybe the humidity plus the cold plus yeah, it's like maybe it's the perfect conditions with the stone. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. But the fact that nobody else even looked into this stuff, like dug well, around in there, it's like people are in there, obviously. To be it's fair. It's like if they're having their little ceremonies. Yeah, fair. But I don't think they go running their hands, like, mindlessly along the stones when they're walking and... And then trip and then shove their hand into something. True. Uh... Like, if I hadn't been doing that, I wouldn't have found it because my hand had just slipped into that crevice and I felt something. Plus, they do have another agenda while they're there, so... Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. did you yeah. say that you found something very old? Who's this? Um, someone. Black hair. It's the doctor. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Uh, just a very old, 
um, piece of fabric that was, like, tucked into the walls. Interesting. How, uh... And you said it was perfectly preserved? Not perfectly. I mean, it didn't look brand new, but it... With my estimation on the age, it should have deteriorated further, but it hasn't. So, I'm, hmm. st I'm still looking hmm. into that. Is there any chance that Is I can there... take a look at it? Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. Um, my name is Dr. Helena Sinclair. Um, I actually am very interested in some of the goings on around here. Um, I've been looking into it for the past few days, and as soon as I found out about some of this stuff, I immediately booked a flight and got here as soon as I could. Um, I, this just is fascinating to me that there's something that old in this area. I'm gonna, like, make eye contact with Maxine real quick as, like, do I do the thing that we were just talking about? Or do I not do the thing that we were just talking about? I'd be about? like, I, I'm kind of, like, giving a little, okay, yeah, maybe go forward. If we, like, or if we look for Y to pretend that he, This is he's the one. a little long of a you pause. You know what? Um, I've gone by multiple names before. Sorry. Um, I... I'm Maxine. It's good to meet you. Oh. You're the one who sent me the email in the first place. Yes, I didn't expect to run into you in the diner, but yeah. Um, I mean... But you can just I'm call staying me at Max. The I'm staying at the hotel, so I'm oh. here. Um, now, I understand you told me not to come. But I looked into this place on my own, and I'm going to be looking into some stuff myself. Um, on top of that, I understand that your offer's off the table. Don't really care. Um, I'm not really in it for the money. I'm in it for the actual research. Um, and additionally, about ten more of my colleagues are going to be coming out. Um, and we're going to be doing some canvassing of the area. Um, there was mention of possibly evidence towards alternate dimensions and alternate realities. Um, I'm interested in looking into that, and you said that there might be some place to start. Do you have any recommendations? I do, yes. It's a bit of a track. But with the research I was looking into, and there is a guide, Maria, who was willing to take me out there. I just haven't um I'm losing my words. Um haven't booked anything just yet. But yeah, I think in... you were I think you were going to make an appointment with her, so maybe they can do that. Yeah, I mean your colleagues and yourself are probably way more capable than I am with this sort of thing, but um I read something about an enchanted waterfall that she knew how to get to that's supposedly supposed to hold some sort of secrets, but I'm unsure on what. The stuff I was reading was very nondescript, unfortunately. Very well. Um, yeah, once they arrive, then we can send a few of them out that way, and the rest of us... Most of what I've read about has happened in the valley and the surrounding area of this town. So I feel like that's probably a good place to start as well. So um, how, how long of a trek would you say that is? Um, she said it was about an 18 hour hike, so roughly. So if we lose about three of our colleague, my colleagues for the three 18 days. hours, so yeah. All right, well, um, it was nice to meet you. I won't bother you anymore as I understand you're probably busy, but um, thank you for, <coughs> for the update. And uh, I'll see you around. And she walks away. Enjoy. Oh, Frank. Thank you, thank you. I don't know whether I could have pulled that off. It's like, yeah, hopefully that'll hold them up a little bit. That was awful. Yeah. You are welcome. But, but that was I, awful. 
I could not have pulled that off for sure. But yeah, no, that's good to send her off into the because yeah, we we were well, gonna do that, but we thing. never did. There was one small little thing I had read in that journal, and it was something about a waterfall holding these secrets to blah 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 blah, and I was like, it's gonna get rid of some of them for a couple of days. Cause that's an eighteen-hour hike over like a couple days. Yeah. So and how many how many people did she say were coming? Ten. Ten. So there'll be eleven of them oh. total. Her and ten more. Uh, uh, okay. I'm hoping if they find something of interest, they'll all go out that way. Well, yeah. There's enough different things around here that, yeah, they could probably just go on a wild goose chase, but sheesh. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't realize that this would really... I assumed us like yeah. saying no we cancel this blah 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 it's like but that would have been the end of it but no nope. have piqued her interest so here she is i guess we should have known she would have looked into this outside of what we told her weird yeah a, weird a scientist looking into stuff yeah yeah i guess i'm just so glad that well no on all that stuff going on last night i'm like sheesh it's like i don't know if my heart can take much more of this oh i need like... to answer that reminds me i'm heading to maxine's feud list i think it's only a one-way street right now but i'm at it <laughs> yeah it's not like frankie's frankie's is a little more Oh no, maybe I think we're equal now. Are we equal now? No, you have Tobias. Yeah, no, I know. I've got that uh, one. As like, far as I know, I'm... it's just Eddie. Eduardo. Yeah. Edward. Also, the hunters at the also... lodge. Those oh, are yeah. all yours. Random. Oh. And to be fair, there was like three <laughs> of random them. Random a-holes. There yeah. was like three of them. I'm just going to put three random a-holes. Yeah, I think we're almost tied. Tobias is, yes. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, my, no, I think my I got you beat. I got a three for one. Oh, true, true. Tobias is top of my list. <laughs> Tobias isn't even that bad. You just hate him. <laughs> he just, he's so rude. He's the worst. No, I don't want to even get into it. Okay. Uh, all right. So, what are your guys' plans for the day then? Um, I'm gonna check YouTube. Uh, Notifications. Hey. Has Wyatt come back yet? After his little library library excursion. How long are you gonna stay at the library for? As long as Finn wants me to keep watching videos with him, I figure he's gonna get bored after a little while. So you see? like eight nine feet tall you saw that one where he was like walking down the mountain that's so far away and he was still super tall that's crazy all right these videos are pretty cool so yeah i have to feed bigfoot or else that nine foot tall super strong guy He's going to come and march through the town looking for his peanut butter sandwich. He'll rip the door off of my house and eat my peanut butter. Well, should we just feed him peanut butter then? No, you have to have the sandwich. Okay. I mean, it seems like the bread would just get in the way if he really just wants peanut butter. I don't know. To the yeah, it, it makes it better. Have you tried just eating peanut okay. butter? It's kind of, it makes your roof of your mouth all coated and stuff. You need to have the bread to help you out. Gotcha. But uh, I got to go home. So thanks I for letting me know. To people too. Um, bye. You're welcome. I wanted you to know that you were safe. Oh, he never bothered me.
but thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know who is probably the next best to deal with. The easiest one. Okay, um, have you heard the voices in the woods yet? I don't think so. I think we're going to go... The singing? Weren't we going to go listen to them when we got distracted? Yeah. Um, do you want to go to that tomorrow? Sure. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Bye! And then he runs out. Bye. Back to the group. Okay. So another another like twenty minutes and why it shows up. About what time do you think it would be by now? Maybe like uh probably like uh, one, two. Okay. Um Yeah, I would say uh actually maybe no, it'd be around one or two. Okay, um, I will we'll hang out at the diner till about four, and then I'll head over to uh, Turner's Pub. Okay. okay. Um, and what about the other people? Um. Hey, Frankie, where you at? Diner? Didn't we just eat? On my computer. Oh. I'm not eating. I didn't want to do work in the same vicinity of home. I gotcha. Well, then I will be there. If that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, cool. Um, okay. Victor, Maxine, Charlie. Bueller. Yes. What are you guys doing? Well, besides me hiding hide out from Isabella. Who's Isabella? Helena. Oh, sorry. Helena. I Why do I keep I don't calling her Isabella? Who, I don't even know who Isabella who is. I don't think I've introduced an Isabella. You should have an Isabella. Doesn't start with E. Neither does Helena. It starts with an H. What? Helena? Yeah. Helena. <laughs> oh, I've been hearing Helena. Uh, no, like it's Helena. E Oh, see? So, like, right. Helena. Pronounce yeah. it. Yes, sure. Yes. Maybe Got Helena it. sounds weird. No, because I've been writing it just E. Yeah, no, it's Helena. This... Helena. Oh. Huh. Okay. I should do the H. <laughs> Helena. Uh, okay. Um... You guys are just hiding then? Sure. Okay. Uh, Charlie, you're still relaxing? Yep. Okay. Uh, then Wyatt and Frankie, you're just going to hang out in the bar? No. Oh. Hey. Do we want to do we want to check with the police to see whether they know anything about these vans or no? Is that just like I don't know. It's just bugging me that Rachel and Jason have just disappeared. But it is what it is. You're the gum troop. You want to get your, all your answers. Yeah. It's like Just because of like the fact that uh, it's like the reasoning was Elias was a threat and Rachel and Jason were not like they were hoping to recover somewhat. It's like that's kind of picking at my brain. So it's like, even though 
Charlie is claiming that he knows nothing about these these vans. And it's like I'm just curious as if they I would I would probably check with the police to know if they know anything about the vans. But it's like, it's like I'm, I'm I know that the I know that the police don't, but it's like I feel like I would go and check anyway. Go for a walk. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wander off down to the police station. Okay. Uh just you? I don't know. I can see if Victor wants to go with me, but Victor's Vic, Victor being mauled right now. By a cat. By two cats, because he has some ice cream. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so you, my cats do uh, cereal. Yeah, no, they heard the plastic wrap of ice cream, so they're uh, okay. in their face. So you guys are heading towards the police station. And you walk over, and you head inside, and... Is your girlfriend there? I was going to say, Olivia is behind the counter. Oh, there you go. What oh, Victor, are you baby. doing back here again? I don't understand what is bringing you back. Whatever, I assume you're here to talk to the sheriff. Well, actually, I came to ask you out for supper, but yeah, I'll talk to the sheriff. No, thank you. Smooth. Smooth, Victor. <laughs> Smooth. She seems to be really enamored with you. All right, I'll call him for you. Uh, she presses a button on her phone. Your friends are here. And it hangs up. He'll be with you shortly, and she walks away from the desk. What is it with you, with her? It's like she's not putting out any signals that she's interested, but you keep trying. You mean keep trying? I haven't tried at all. I know she hates me. Now it's just like a bugger. So now it's just tormenting? Awesome. Now it's just harassment, you know. Yeah. Now, now she needs to speak to HR. You know, the usual. Why is she yeah. need to speak to HR about somebody who doesn't work there? She would find a way. She would find a way. Um, okay. Uh, like, a minute later, uh, the sheriff comes to the desk. Um, how can I help you find folks? What can I do for you? Well, I saw you come last night. I had left the room already. No, but... you didn't see anything like that. I wasn't anywhere near the lodge. Okay. I understand. My... I just have one question. Did you have anybody else join up with the retrieval or removal or long story short, Rachel and Jason have disappeared and it was in black bands. Did you see any black bands when you were out and about or no? I was sleeping last night. Why don't okay. we go talk in my office? Sure. Uh, so he leads you back to his office as you know this is private conversations that you shouldn't be having in public hey she had walked away had Olivia not left yeah you said she there's left. a small office I'm not screaming <laughs> do you think they're like playing radio in here no Anyway, so you go with her, him, back to his office, and he shuts the door behind you, cl 
closes the blinds. He's like, first off, don't be the blinds, talking like really? that. Really? In... Excuse me. S Olivia knows how to read lips for one thing. Oh, Victor, there's another bonus point for her. And for another, I just want to be careful, okay? So, what about Vans? Did you notice any last night? No. I saw your... your... Is that possible? He drove... If... He drove east and south, and they came in from the west and then went north. Okay. I saw some vans come at the same time as you, or just around the same time as you. Some headed up to the forest. Others ones headed off to the mill. I just wondered if you had anything to do with it. I'm guessing no, since you had no idea that they were even there. Uh, that's correct. I don't have any information about black vans. Unless you're talking about well, Rachel kids' and... shoes, then might have a little bit of information, but I don't think that we're talking about the same thing. No, we are not. Rachel and Jason are gone. They've disappeared with these black vans. I okay. talked to Charlie. He has no that. idea. So. You, you've repeated that. I understand. But I have nothing to do with that, and I did not see any last night. As I drove away with my lights off, trying to stay, remain as quiet as possible, and... Yeah, like I said, they came in from west to north, and when he left the lodge, he went east to south. So, down south on Main Street, they went north on Main Street. So they went two opposite directions, and they showed up about two minutes after he had left. Okay. Well, and he I had just to drive to heads far up. into the wilderness. And I'm guessing we are not talking about that anymore. I also wanted to give you a heads up that there's a scientist in town that is curious about the goings on here as well. And she's just revealed to us that there will be 10 more people in town that are coming to check some things out too. So just thought I'd give you a heads up because yes, I'm very excited about that. Doesn't sound like it. Are they here for this similar reason to you, or what? what is their purpose being here? No, there's a little more to it than that, but we had said that there was something that they would like. We were indicating like the the altar, but that's gone. And but we had said not to come. And she just checked out whatever she could find on the internet, I guess. And her curiosity was piqued and she came anyway. So, and she's got more people coming up. So I don't know. I don't know what they're checking into exactly now. It's like, yeah. So just so you know, there'll be more people around town in the next little bit. But Frankie, fortunately, was trying to send them on a wild goose chase but we'll see we'll see if that holds them up or distracts them at all Maybe from what's going wild on goose chase. she sent them out to the waterfall it's something that's going to be like 18 hours away so it's like all, they're going to be going on a them? trek uh probably not but there'll be it'll break up the so pack. are you what are you wanting me to do with this information do you want me to like arrest them or what no 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 i'm just we tried you had wanted us to keep you in the loop of in, everything in regards, that was happening and in that's... regards to the monsters i i mean i can't really do anything to people i wasn't expecting you to do anything sure i just said this is what's happening, just so you know that it's not us, it's this other group of people that have come in, so just a heads up. Okay, well, thank you for the information, but like I said, I... 
Oh, plus she was also it. there the night the night all this went down, so. Or was I spotted? We don't, I don't think, think so. so. Then I'm I sure she would have said something. Good. I would hope so, yeah. I really but... hope so too, because I do enjoy my life here and I do enjoy my job, but I'd hate for uh, things to go downhill. Well, it's not going to happen from us. It's like you've been nothing but helpful to us, so thank you for that. But um, And just to be clear, yeah. uh, the curfew is going to be lifted um, tonight. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you killed him. No, no I know. There's no danger anymore. I, I hope wrong? that's right. From what we've seen, yes, that's right, but I don't know. Okay. I'm just, I'm You're very, right. very confused at this point. Okay. Well, figure out what's going on, and then we'll go from there. Um, with when and if these scientists show up, we'll deal with that as it happens but as i stated unless they're doing something illegal i can't really do much about them um yeah i got that was that all yeah that's it all right thanks